nowadays, it has become second nature to recycle our household waste. But have you ever stopped to think about what happens to this waste after it has been collected? Today, we're going to go on a journey to follow a household's waste from the bin to the recycling centre and beyond. to recycle. It saves rubbish from going to landfill which is very important because the landfill sites in Northern Ireland are filling up very quickly and we're literally going to run out of places to put all our rubbish. It's much more resourceful as well. There's no point in throwing away a paper, it could actually just be recycled and made into a new paper again. If you recycle an aluminium can you're avoiding having to maybe mine for bauxite so it's good for the environment in that way as well. And it's also good for our economy because it creates local jobs. Whenever it was first introduced, people thought that it was a hassle to recycle and having to rinse out their cans and their bottles. But anyone who I know who does it, once they've got into the habit of recycling, they find it quite easy to do and they just continue to do so. It's just something you do naturally. The types of materials that we recycle here at Bryson Recycling are paper, cardboard, plastic bottles and food and drinks cans. Whenever a lorry comes in, it gets weighed. Then it offloads the materials that it's collected that day. And then it goes through a sorting process so that we can separate the paper, card, plastic and cans. So first of all it goes through a screen that lifts out all of the paper from the mix. And then the cardboard is hand sorted out. Then it goes under a giant magnet which lifts out all of the steel cans. And then it goes up where there's further hand picking done to lift out anything that shouldn't be in there, like plastic bags. After everything's been separated out, we bale all of the materials that go out from here. So we have separate bales of aluminium cans, then bales of cardboard, paper, and plastic bottles as well. The paper will be sent over to a paper mill over in England where it's made straight back into newspapers. And most of the materials are just made back into the original product, so cans are made straight back into cans, etc. There are more people recycling these days, but there's always more that can be done. Um, we won't really be happy until 100% of people are recycling, so I would encourage people before they throw something away to check it and see whether or not it can go in their blue bin and to do this at home as well as doing it in school. In the long term, recycling is going to be a lot cheaper than sending rubbish to landfill, so it does make economic sense as well as environmental sense. So, next time you're sorting your rubbish into the recycling bin, remember, it's not the end of the journey, it's just the beginning.